Well, folks, I have in front of me here the William Tyndale Bible of 1536. William Tyndale was a brother in the Lord, a godly saint of the Lord Jesus Christ, who uh, was formerly in the false religion of the Catholic Church, and the Holy Spirit drew him under conviction, granted him repentance unto life, and he trusted Christ and got saved. And after he got saved, the Lord put upon his heart to bring the Bible into the English language for English-speaking people to read it. Now, there was already an English Bible called the Wycliffe Bible by John Wycliffe uh, from, the thir from 1382, but the problem with the Wycliffe Bible is it was translated from the wrong sources. It was translated from the Latin text of the Catholic Church instead of the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Uh, and, of course, the Latin uh, Vulgate of the Catholic Church was corrupt. Uh, but that's all they had at the time, so God used the Wycliffe Bible to, to get people saved. Uh, but God wanted his perfect word in English from his inspired Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek texts. What would later become the King James Bible that we use today, God's perfectly preserved word, King James Version, originally this was, the King James Bible was a revision of Tyndale's work. Ten, the Tyndale Bible is very, very amazing. Unfortunately, Tyndale, Brother Tyndale was not able to finish it. He only got uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and then Jonah in the Old Testament, but he got the entire New Testament. He translated the entire Greek New Testament into English, but the Old Testament, he was only able to get six books done before he was caught and arrested by the Jesuits and the Roman Catholic Church and they had him burned at the stake and strangled uh, for the, quote, crime, unquote, of translating the scripture into English because at that time it was a crime legally. Only the Roman Catholic priests and licensed uh, clergy of the Roman Catholic Church were allowed to read the Bible. Uh, everyone else just had to listen to the priest read it and uh, take what the priest said at face value as the truth of God the common man, the peasants, so-called, were not allowed to read God's Word. And so it was chained up in Latin in the churches, and anybody caught reading an English translation like Wycliffe's uh, English Bible or this Tyndale Bible, the first English Bible from the true uh, texts of God, from the pure text, the Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, uh, the Masoretic text, and the text of Septus, um, anybody that was caught reading the Word of God in English was to be arrested and put to death by the government at that time. So, thank God for William Tyndale and his courage. He gave his life for the Word of God. He gave his life to give us uh, an English translation uh, of the Bible that would later be uh, edited and revised into what we now have as the King James Bible. Uh, through several different translations afterwards, there would be uh, there would be, of course, the Bishop's Bible and the Geneva Bible of the Puritans that they took on the Mayflower. Uh, but all of that led to the King James Bible. The Geneva Bible was the predecessor to the King James. And all of this started with Brother William Tyndale. Thank you and God bless you. And God bless William Tyndale as he is in heaven reigning for eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.